we're being sued by our child. It's, 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 I'm, I'm dumbfounded. So is my wife. So is, so are my other daughters. His daughter, Rachel Canning, is an honor student and cheerleader at Morris Catholic High School in New Jersey. In court papers, she alleges her parents abandoned her when she turned 18 and are now refusing to pay for her to go to college, despite the fact she's gotten acceptance letters from several universities. Her father tells a different story. I know Rachel was is a a good kid, b an incredibly rebellious teen, and she's getting some terrible information. He claims she ran away in November because she didn't want to follow house rules. Living in our house is very few things. There's minor chores. There's curfews. When I say curfew, it's usually after 11 o'clock at night. Rachel did not want to be interviewed. She is staying with her best friend's family, attorney and freeholder John Inglesino. He is funding the lawsuit, telling CBS 2 News it's the only way the bright and focused teen will be able to go to a college appropriate for her to become a biomedical engineer. Rachel, who has a $20,000 scholarship, says the University of Vermont, a private college, is her first choice. Are you refusing to pay for her college education? No, it's, I, 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 I reject the whole question on that, the whole premise. Uh, we have a college fund that's available to her. There's no doubt about that. But it's, it's the equivalent, like I said before, it's the equivalent of going shopping at, at, at a high-end store and sending somebody the bill. Rachel Canning says she didn't run away, but was given the option of dumping her boyfriend or getting out. Me and my wife are distraught. Both sides will be in court on Tuesday. Rachel Canning wants the court not to emancipate her because under the law, parents have a legal obligation to support their children if they can't stand on their own financially. In Morris Plains, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News.